Hey, good day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Jeff Borg, and this is going to be the latest edition of the Grittiest Take as we go through the key takeaways of the Flyers' embarrassing loss against the Pittsburgh Penguins, 6-2, to two, albeit very short-handed. But like Mike Yo said in the postgame, you would like to see, and even Cam Atkinson said it in his remarks as well, you would like to see other guys kind of pick it up a little bit when you see these guys out of the lineup. Obviously, Igor Zamula was in his season debut. I actually thought... Um, he had a few giveaways, but just like he always has done in his professional career since coming over here to North America with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, um, he bounced right back, and I thought in almost 20 minutes of ice time at 1946 with three blocks, um, he actually looked pretty good out there and did not look lost at all. The Legando and Canardin line, again, always leave something to be desired. Um, when it comes to that line... And then Cam York, again, uh, played over 20 minutes of ice time, and I thought he looked good. So the key takeaways is the future cogs that we hope are on our defense, at least in this embarrassing loss of Igor Zamula and Cam York, two guys we hope are going to be components of the defense in the top six going forward, both looked fine. Um, So that's huge for the future going forward, but for the present, obviously it is not looking too squeaky clean. Presently for a Flyers, we talked about that a bit on the Hockey Writers Inc. You can check that out over on Steel Flyers that I was on with Lance Creed and Steel Flyers, um, where this team kind of is in this kind of retool phase, it seems like, trending down that low motion um, if they don't start getting going. Because, yeah, obviously yesterday, this is a game that I'm not going to damn them too much for because so many people were out of the lineup. You added Sanheim and TK on top of already your captain, Drew, and others from injuries and COVID being out of the lineup. Uh, so that's going to make a huge uh, drastic impact, of course, um, as well as Provy, of course, being out as well, who's a huge drastic impact when he's out. But like... Atkinson and Yo said you would like to see a key takeaway is we haven't seen enough guys. We've seen Farabee step his play. We've seen Atkinson himself um, step his play up as guys have gone out. But you haven't seen enough guys around them. And York and Zamula have been fine, but they've only played a handful of games. So you can't use them as examples of stepping their play up. You can just use them as examples of playing good in their in one's game for Zamula and two games um, for York this far of uh, coming back up this season. But only a couple guys you can really point to that have stepped up when other people have gone down. And the Flyers haven't been able to jump off of that step-up mentality like teams like the Avalanche, even teams like the Kings that um, were doing better than the Flyers um, in the standings were able to jump on. Or even teams like the um, Capitals, who people doubted coming into the season because of age. They've been able to find ways to win with people out of the lineup. The Flyers haven't found ways to do that this year. Um, they were getting going a little bit more after Mike Yo just first came on, and then after the holiday break, they've been all sloppy and sloppier again. Got three out of four points in a very sloppy way in the first two games back from the break. Looked a little bit better against the Kings offensively, sloppy defensively, and then have been sloppy uh, since and really sloppy in this game under the Pittsburgh Penguins. They looked a little bit better in the second, but then there's no excuse to look flat in the third. Um, if you're looking better in the second, as guys even talked about on the post game, because you're the team that didn't play yesterday. Pittsburgh did. The Flyers were really shorthanded, so this isn't the game that I'm really going to harp on them overly too much for compared to um, games in the Western trip that they really should have been able to play a little bit squeakier um, against certain teams before everybody started to continue to go out of the lineup. But even in this game, as Atkinson and Yo said, you, have to, you would like to see more guys um, continue to step up um, and be like Farabee and be like Atkinson um, when they're able to step up and do well. Um, and also Sandstrom in his debut obviously did really well. York's doing well in his two games. I thought Zamula looked fine yesterday. You want to see guys come in and take advantage of those opportunities. May you look really good in one out of two games, okay, in the other. So you want to see guys come in and take advantage of those opportunities. Yesterday, that didn't take flight. Obviously, Pittsburgh is one of the hottest teams. So a key takeaway would be don't overreact to this game, I would say, compared to uh, some of the other games where I think we could have looked better against L.A. And because even though we had the captain out and Provy, they also had Getzlaff and Zegers, we still could have looked better against Anaheim. Now, with everybody out, this is a game that a key takeaway is don't overreact to this one. We should have looked better in the final two of the Western trip. The Flyers didn't. Now they have to get going better. They have to get better again in their neutral zone play. It looked better in the beginning with Mike Yo, not so much since coming back from um, the Christmas break. And they have to get better in just exiting and entering zones, which has not looked as good since coming back from the Christmas break, where we're starting to look better beforehand as well. 
But on the positive end, key takeaways are at least York, Zamula, uh, Sandstrom in his debut. Look good recently. So you have youngsters that are part of the future looking good. Fairby's a big part of the future. Jimmy Batchkel wrote an article on how he compares to Konechny, or not Konechny, to Gagne. So go check that out. I'm on Flyers Nitty Gritty. But Konechny, who I just mentioned, is someone you need to see. When he um, is in, you need to see more scoring touch, um, obviously, from TK and not just the passing touch because we really need him to be that goal scorer. So he's someone you would like to see be able to pick it up as well. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Have a good, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a key takeaway from the Flyers and Pittsburgh game and a couple of the other games as well since we dipped into those as well continue to subscribe down below to help us get to 195 or into january goal or up above at the easy to use widget go flyers let's get back to the winning ways this weekend peace out everybody